Hey guys, this is Aaron with NC Dirt Hunter. I uh, got myself a new shovel. This is called the Brute by Predator Tools. Uh, I'm, I'm really curious to check this out. Yeah, I'll just point out a couple things. It's, it's uh, just over 36 inches long. The end of the shovel is smaller than most. It's seven inches long, six inches wide. I'm really curious how this is going to dig. It's got the uh, curved blade, which is really good for digging plugs uh, because it, as you push in, it's already creating kind of that cone effect that you want on a plug and makes it really easy to flip over. But if you can see, this side right here has got a beveled edge and that's for chopping roots. The other side is serrated so you could actually saw through roots if you need to. Uh, it's got the holes here on the end which means that it can take those rubber foot pads that you can order from them. Um, I've got a, a Phoenix shovel that has those rubber pads. I think you, you got to have them if you get the shovel that, that allows them. Those rubber pads make a huge difference. But uh, it's got the T end for the handle. It's super light, so and and it feels really balanced. But I'm really curious how this is going to dig, so we're going to get at it. And uh, I got about 30 minutes before it's supposed to uh, hit us with a storm. But I'm going to get out there and dig some holes. So let's check this out. All right, this looks like a good signal. Um, curious about this. I am close to a tree right now. So I'm curious if I'm going to run into any roots and see how this brute shovel handles that. Yeah, no roots. But I'm also curious, even though our target is in this plug, I'm curious how this thing scoops. That's cool. That is nice. I like that. That gets that gets a lot of dirt out of the hole. A lot of the other ones, they do come to such a point that it's you can't do that. You can't just stick this in the hole with some other ones and just freely scoop like that because since it does come out to a point, a lot of what you're trying to scoop is just going to fall off. But that is really cool with this wide blade. I like that. I use for my hand shovel the Raptor by Predator Tools. Uh, it's, it's curved and it's wide, wider than a lot of the straight shaft shovels. But my impression is that I'm kind of getting the same effect with this Brute. It is short, it's wide, but man, look at that, that hole. I'm way down there and I can still get in there and lift a whole bunch of dirt up. So that's pretty cool. I'm starting to like the shovel more and more. Good signal here in the uh, 70s. So we're digging with the brood again. Uh, one thing I can say is I noticed that this thing cuts through the grass really easily. I wasn't sure how it was going to be because it's got such a such a wide blade on it, uh, whereas the Phoenix that I'm used to goes to a point. But man, this thing just goes straight through, so that's cool. Looks like it's in the hole. So I'll be honest with you, I am surprised. When I saw the shovel and I saw how short and wide this was, I wasn't sure how it was going to be. Um, like I said, I'm used to the shovel that's a bit longer and, and more pointed. But I am surprised with the plug that this thing is coming up with. Uh, it's It doesn't have the, the cone that the Phoenix has on it because it's a longer shovel but it 
it's cutting a really good plug so I am surprised so far uh, pleasantly surprised and the thing is light it feels like it's longer than my Phoenix uh, but it feels a whole lot lighter and it's extremely balanced so so far so good for the brute all right so I just dug this plug again with the brute uh, one thing I did just now is when I didn't uh, when I stepped on it I didn't go straight down just out of curiosity I put the blade at a slight angle I did hit some roots on the way down and it just it blazed right through them but with putting that at a little more of an angle I do get more of that cone effect on my on my plug which I like as long as you can get it out in one piece I'm in grass so I only do three sides I keep it attached um, and it keeps keeps the grass healthy you don't have a big dead spot when you're done hey guys so I've been out digging today with this brute shovel from predator tools and uh, I'm gonna be honest with you that's the whole point of me doing this review is to be honest but when I got this in the mail and I opened the box, I thought to myself, this thing is short, right? The blade on it is a lot shorter than my Phoenix that I use, um, but it's wide. And I was really curious to see how this was gonna do. And I'm here to tell you, I'm gonna be using the shovel for a long time. Um, it's light, it feels lighter than my Phoenix. Uh, it's like 2.75 pounds, but it's just super balanced. But that's just my honest opinion. I would definitely get the rubber foot pads for this. Um, definitely. It helps when you're uh, just literally reaching your toe over there to step on it, to push it down. It just glides into the soil a lot easier uh, with the rubber foot pads. So that's... That's my take. That's my opinion. I really like it. Uh, was curious what it was going to do with the short blade, but this thing digs some serious dirt out of the hole, and I was getting I was getting pretty deep into some of these holes, and uh, this was able just to get in there and continue to scoop out large amounts of dirt. So it's pretty cool. I'll put the link in the description. It's PredatorTools.com, and I don't remember the price on this but it was under a hundred bucks. And the thing is welded up. It's got the T-handle. Uh, it's a cool tool. Like I said, I'm gonna be using this for a while. All right, I'm out of here.